just it's not one of those um things that you do like a means to an end it's like should i call it like an onion kind of effect it has a lot of layers the more you open the deeper it is the more you open the deeper it is for me that's what photo manipulation is right because i cannot begin to explain how many stuff i've learned how many things i've learned along the way as i was doing my manipulations it's just something that opens your eyes to a lot of other things to a world of possibilities i never started doing that photo manipulation i've had people that come to me and say oh come help me and design my book come help me and design this come help me and you know do that do you do nfts and all of that so all of those things have have been like massive for me so if you really want to get into photo, photo manipulation i need it to be open-minded right um don't be too don't be stuck on your idea so take for instance you you want to put bread inside uh, a tin right like or let's say you want to put bread inside an ocean like i've done before and that's the idea you have in your head and along the way another idea comes in that oh why not make it um make the bread look like a sheep instead and then you're like nah, let me just stick to my original idea that that's not how it works right it's like a spirit so you follow the spirit anyway the spirit drag you go and that's how for that's what photo manipulation is for me as a person so let me share my screen and show you um what we are going to be doing today full disclosure um disclosure i've not done this before just let me know when you can see my screen i've not done this before so um as much as you are learning i'm also learning right now yeah i can see your screen awesome all right so we're going to kick off with um the background right for this particular one now if we want to break it down obviously we can see the cup beside saucer we can see the buildings we can see the moon and the i will give you blow we can see the <laughs> We can see the moon. Sorry, oh, in advance. Anybody like this thing? This guy is here. My son is here, so get ready for plenty of noise. The um, you can see the birds. You can see the cl um, cloud, clouds. You can see the plane and this yellow thing here. That I'm not now very sure what exactly the essence of it is. Anyway, um, I might I might do some something different about my own. So basically, what this class is supposed to do. Is to show you how how to do this right so i might not do it all the way right but i'm going to guide you so first of all let us begin by looking for cup so i'm just going to use i'm going to use thumbnails right now so i'm going here and i'm searching for let me use ice stock Searching for um, um, coffee cup sideway side view. Um, see what I can find. I'm not very married to that idea, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this guy. All right, so I'm using the thumbnails, so it's not going to be very sharp. So we have this guy. Instead of using buildings, I want to use mountains. So this is what I say about being open-minded, yeah, and um, wanting to go your own route with the creativity. So you don't necessarily, it's not compulsory that you must follow the images or the guide that has been given to you. This is where your imagination now comes to play. So I've, I've copied that other first mountain. I like this guy. So we have this one. Let's copy the other one so that we have a right to, to choose from. If at any point you're not seeing what I'm doing anymore, you're not hearing what I'm saying or something, please just let me know. Flag it immediately. 
Mm, what else? What else? I need like clear view. I prefer a green, something that has green greenery like this instead of snow stuff. But I want it to be as close to home as it can, close to our country. Because we don't have snow here now. Okay, so it'll be like B. We are not seeing it you. Another alternative would be to actually go here and say mountain and just search for mountain PNG. Then wait 25 years for this thing to load. Another two years. Okay, so this is what I want. Something like this. So let's go ahead and do that. I can be dramatic, but I want that I need to be dramatic. Let's wait another 20 years for the thing to download. For it to open. Since it's one megabyte, that means it must be really high quality. Kind of. Oh yeah. I want to use how many years to open. Ah. Ah. Problem. Wow. Where's four? Four. Six. Percentage. Where's percentage? Sorry. This is what I have to face to use some of these sites. All right. So we have our mountain. Take this guy out. Yeah. So I'm going to reduce it. Yeah. So this is the this is an issue for me now. This this part here is a problem. But if you look, you can see where the white kind of gives you a path to follow. So I'm just going to use my lasso to this guy over here and just just follow that line. The sides of a mountain are jagged, so you don't need to be careful when you're selecting them. So let's just do it this way. Then use the mask. So yeah, mask tool. This is basically it, right? So I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to do right now is make sure that it fits into the head of the cup. So I'm going to go in and remove this outer side, right? You can either do it that way or you can begin to use um, the brush to, to clean out all this, this. I don't have time for all those ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. For me, I feel like this is going to give me a cleaner cut than using brush to wipe away those edges and this basically means that I can do any way that I want to do behind this cup without having to worry too much about about whether it's interfering or it's not interfering all right I'm going to make selection and say OK and then Control J. So it brings out a copy. <clears throat> it brings out a copy of that side of the cup, right? Then I'm going to bring it up and put it all back. So let us adjust this guy a little bit more. See whether we can get it to come up and be at the very edge. Like so, uh -huh. beautiful, right? There you go. Need to bring this in a little bit more because the cup has like a thick edge. Oh, sorry, oh. All right, so the cup has a thick edge, so I need to bring it in a little bit more. 
so that it it's, sits properly. So this is what we have um, so far. Oh. This admitting people is going to be an issue because I cannot keep going back and forth like this. All right, so um, yeah, so this is what we have so far. Yeah, what I want to do now, yeah, I want to remove this cup from the background. So I'm going to test out sub um, select subjects. This you can find this I think in 2020 Photoshop 2020 and above. If you have anything less than that. I'm not sure how that will work out for you, so I'm going to just do Ctrl J to remove it, and I'm going to turn the the one left at the background to multiply. Please, if I'm going too fast, and I know understanding you know, all the plenty English I'm speaking. Please let me know, right? So let me check whether that has worked by using another different color of background that is not white. Okay, so that worked out. Not very, not very well, but it worked out. Okay. All right, so that worked out. I'll need to come back and clean up this um, end a little bit, but overall we are doing, we are, we are making progress. Um, something I want to do that I might, that would probably be interesting for me is to have this on, on, on the C or something. But let's keep it simple. I can do that one in my own time. All right, so we have the uh, mountain in a cup. Now what we want to do is want to add clouds. For um, <clears throat> for the sake of those who are beginners that are just following what I'm doing as a tutorial, you can just search clouds, PNG, right? But me, I already have, I already have it saved here in this my special folder. This is my special folder is where I keep really interesting stuff. So if by any chance you steal my laptop, I'm sure you'd be very happy with this folder yep so i'm going to do this right for the background but i want to do something for the foreground as well so it's just to give it a little bit of drama right and since the mountain is really far away right so i just want a little bit of something that will pop on the edge like that let me do one more from the one at the back that's this guy and bring it forward uh -huh, so that it casts a little bit of cloud on the mountain itself okay so there we go um, I want to give it like a really lovely cyan blue. I don't know why I like blue, right? Okay, so we've done that. We've done the other one. What else? What else did they say we should add? Moon. Should necessary me. Hmm. Okay. So let's let's do as they do. If you guys have any suggestions, you can put it, you can bring it in. Me, I want to, I want to do something that actually has sense with this thing, not just follow what, um, what the guy is doing. Let's, let's do, let me do sky. Let me do sky. I want to put that in on water. The cup, I want to put the cup on water. Now this thing is not giving me what I want. It's not giving me that, that thing in my chest that I like to have. That joy in my inner chest. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so I think something like this will work. The reason why I chose this is because there's not too much, um, there's not too much um, um, action going on on it. And apart from that, there's a gradient. If you look closely, there's a gradient um, of the sky, between the sky itself and then the horizon. Sorry, I keep going back and forth like this, so I don't know how else. Except if I have somebody else that's doing admin for me. All right, so I think this guy, this guy is good. He's not too much, not too much drama. All right, so I think we have our top, our top thing going. So what I want now is water. I want sea. 
I'm not going to go here and say C or ocean. Oh, blah, 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 blah. do I want this guy? Oh, no. Do I want this guy? I don't know. Let's see what it works. Like I said earlier, don't be too attached to your ideas. If another one comes and it feels like it's a better option for you, Omo, follow Amo. Alright, so let's just wipe this side out and see what we have. Hmm, okay. So it's beginning to make sense small by small. Alright. What is this guy? Oh, the clouds. What is this? Oh, okay. Um, let's group this guy. Reasons why I'm grouping it is because I will need to add a layer mask and wipe out this end a little bit. So how I how I make sure that it looks like it's actually sitting in the ocean, right? Is if I use my brush tool at about ninety or ninety five percent. Let's do 90. 90% hardness, right? So that the edges are not too soft and they are not too hard at the same time, right? I'm setting my foreground color here to black so that it can erase on this guy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pick a little, pick a little, pick a little. I'm not, I'm not very particular about how I pick it, right? There you go. Now I want to. I want um, a shadow has to set on this guy a little bit at this edge. So I'm going to return my brush down to zero percent hardness and just pinch it. There we go. Just pinch it a little bit. Right. I guess that should be enough. If it's not, you can always adjust it later. So I'm going to make it really dark so that it does like it's reflecting off of the water or something like that. There you go. Sorry, just need to wipe all the side out. Okay, I need to reduce this a little bit more. Let's do it 20%. So it's there but not completely there. 25% is better. Alright. Um, what else? There's something else that needs to happen here. All right, so let's look for um, splashes of water. As you can see, we have gone a complete di different direction from what we currently have here. You can do this exactly, right? But, like I said, don't allow your creativity to be confined <laughs> to the um, kidney that was given to you. What am I looking for? Um, what else I'm looking for, Gona? Um, splashes of water, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, mama, thank you. Um, so I'm gonna say water. Splash. Come on, 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 come the one I used for that water thing. Uh -huh. so I'm just going to go ahead and collect everything and bring it in. We're going to be alright. And see which one works and which one doesn't work. Or if we need something new and exciting. Right? Right. Alright, so there's something I, I gave as a, um, as a tutorial one time like that. Because what I was, what I said in that tutorial was, when you import um, um, water like this, it comes with its own color, with this black color. I mean, sorry, I said black with this deep blue color, and it's not the same color as the background that you have, right? So what I usually like to do is, this one I just duplicate it. One is going to be luminosity, and then the other one will be divide. Then I'm going to just group the both of them and add the black and white to it. So it changes it to white, like white water. 
I'm just going to convert the entire thing to smart object. Now, since it is white, white, which is a neutral color, I can now begin to manipulate this white into whatever, uh, whatever um, color I want, right? So this is basically. Let's put. Let's set this one here. Mm -hmm. So it looks. It already looks like it's it's coming out of the water. I need to to um, go back to my 95% 90% hardness and then just wipe away this top mm -hmm. so next one please if I'm going too fast or you're not understanding the German that I'm speaking yo say excuse me you have to wait I don't understand how you do this one how do you do that one uh -huh. because if I've come up for the work it can be a little bit hard for me to retrace my steps so like I said earlier, the one at the bottom, luminosity. Am I? Did I pronounce that right? Luminosity. Eh. Then the one at the top, divide. Right? Group the motherfucker. And add black and white to it. Then convert a smart object. So you have white water that you can use and do anything you like. I can be dramatic, but I want it there. So, I want to wipe away this edge a little bit because it's looking like unnatural. Okay, so, I want to do, um, alright, so this guy is not sitting properly. What I can do is press it down. Sorry. Good evening, sorry. Uh, how do you normally bring out this mask next to your image? This is it here, yeah. this guy. Okay. So once you just click on it, it automatically gives you a mask. Okay. You understand? So another thing that you can do is you can when you select what you want to select. Ah, I like this one. I like this one here, like this. What you can do is when you select when you select something like this. Right, and maybe you want to mask this part out, so you can just you selected it and your matching hands are there. You just do this, and then it selects the part that you select that you you. Apologies. Okay. Um, I actually like this idea. It's like the thing is. It's like the thing is um looking through one kind of future i don't mind this so guys what do you think should i keep it this way or we should just move on with what we had before this thing is almost like a portal well we are doing this thing together oh. nobody should form quiet yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. so yeah but i think it's okay like this so let's leave the portal like this so let's let's do that stuff we talked about divide then group it, drop black and white on it, and then I don't mind it if the thing carries more light. Shall I will not mind. Rara, now it's too white. So yeah, now that it's white, you can now use your hue and saturation. So let me quickly show you how you pick the actual color of the sea or the sky. Anyone? Let me use this color. Once you've selected it and it's your foreground color over here, you just go to hue and saturation, right? Pin it on the layer you want, then hit colorize. So once you click on colorize, you can begin to adjust the col the um um color thing thing of this nigga. Not even coming out the way I expect. Sorry? Sorry? Hey, I'm it again. Oh, yes, sir. Because um, right oh, okay. I said... Oh, I said... If you want to change... This thing, that's what I used to change um, clothes and all that. Right? Take for instance now. This nigga is not looking like the original nigga you want. Right? And you want to change it to like green water. Like mommy water water. You can just come here. Go to your foreground color, choose the actual color you want, right? 
go through hue and saturation power clip is it clip mask clip i don't know i've used color draw too much power clip on the this thing click colorize and then you can adjust the the saturation of the kidney that you want or you can adjust the darkness or the brightness of the water of the whatever you are you are you can this is how i change colors of stuff i don't use all those other tools do you understand now ah problem uncle do you understand well i do all right so yes yes thank you yes, thank you very much all right um so let me just uh, let me wipe this one out a little bit and see if it works out it does work out i guess hmm i don't know i don't know about you anyway so so far so good white so far so good let me take this one to the back hey Take this onto the back. I have an idea. Please share. Hello. I'm here. All right. The the circular uh, splash. Why not do it as if it's going to the handle of the cup? So the part of it is in front. The other part is behind. Okay. Let's try that out. One more time. Do not be too married. Don't be married to your idea. Right. So um because this side is too far away and this one is kind of curving in. I'm just going to flip it horizontally. Mm hmm. There you go. Uh, let's see, should we go from the back to the front or from the front to the back? Let's do this guy. So, I'm not going to go ahead and duplicate this nigga to be above the um, cup. Then, and to cover the entire thing and then begin to use my brush to, to pick this nigga from here. But I'm not liking the way it's looking. It's looking very blue. So is it okay if I just reduce you? Is it okay if I really reduce you? So I still need to add. Thank you for that idea. This works out. So I think the only, the only thing that is left is for me to play with shadow and then add water to cover up. If you look closely, you will see some defects here. Right? So I can just add external water to cover up all of that yeah so that's basically it yo so if you want to do like sunset sunrise that kind of thing let's do let's do sunset gonna so that we can add that moon that they're talking about mm. who is outside that you say i should let you in Whoever is on the Telegram group, tell that newest person that you did not send any request to. I don't, I don't see any request here for... Oh. These guys are usually harder to... I want sunsets that doesn't have the sun in it. So let me just say sky. My dingling. My dingling. All right, I like this guy. Boy, it has watermark on it. Pixabay. Do I want to do Pixabay? This is not so bad. This is not so bad. All right. So let's just do this and then put um, because we've already passed the time we're supposed to spend on this shit. Let's just do this and add the. Uh, the moon moon thing to it and then call it a day then you guys i'll send the the task to you on the group and you can you can you know do your own thing okay so this water cannot be blue considering that, that the sky is kind of orange gray angry orange purple gray something something so what we can do is just go and do the hue and saturation thing i talked about after you have selected your color as um as a foreground color then you go to hue and saturation over your layer deposit it there colorize ha. 
so I'm just going to go ahead and reduce this guy a little bit because uh, water is blue before you cannot kill it finish or we can leave it the way it is and just use um like 20% opacity brush and just wipe away at this front oh snap what did I what did I click as 20% then oh the flow sure all right so we'll just wipe away at this edge a little bit so that the, the back side is darker all right Ooh. okay so this can also apply to this guy can also apply to the um other images Oh, I'm on the wrong image. Sorry. Okay, so you can just begin to adjust it to whatever you like. Make it darker. Reduce the opacity so that it's looking like it's clearer. Add extra water to cover up all these blemishes. Okay. So, sorry, I have a quick question. How, how did you achieve this form of water changing and the sunset behind from the blue sky? Guy, you are just joining us. No, I've been here, but it's happened fast. I was just watching, like, okay. How okay. Did you achieve this? Okay, one more time, yeah? How you can change this water the way I changed it is go to your um, color um, set over here pick the whatever color of the background you want to use or any color whatsoever you want to change stuff to right then go to you and saturation click colorize mm? then play around with your hue and saturation I prefer to be really light like this. You can change it to whatever color you want. Look at this, it's changing color blue, red, yada yada. So that's how I did okay. it. Okay. Yeah. I'm in the ocean. I'm not even talking of the water ocean. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same process. Look at the hue and saturation here. Okay, so whenever you're done, you click, click max. Yes. So the layer you're working with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into it. Um, let's let's talk about perspective for a little bit, right? If this ocean, if this ocean is like real life, we are not supposed to be seeing the back really clear this way. So you just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. So once you have the this thing, the can you, the way you want it, guy, okay. you use your brush tool at one hundred percent. Nigga, I said 100 dinner. Why is it not working? 100% and then just wipe this edge a little bit. There you go. So we need to bring this guy to the front small more. Beautiful. So from here, I believe. Oh, oh I've not been saving basically. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, let's do the last thing I said. We are going to just superimpose the moon into the sky, and that will be all. Oh yeah, now. Has it? Okay. I'm not going to go ahead and copy this image. Dump it here. Eh? No work. What happened? They have they have embedded it. Sure. Give me another one. We are load load load. Thank you for your patience. Let's see. Ah, problem. All right, let's open the image. Man. Save image. Okay. Then drag and drop. 
boom okay so we can either use the this and pick all the black oh let's just do that then okay so let me show you how to like blend this color to that color i'm thinking sound you know okay okay now we can see your screen oh, okay oh you were not seeing it before but oh, sorry oh please if it happens again just let me know e medium dum so that i can quickly post what i'm all the english i'm speaking so that we are all carried along all right so i want to put this thing here right or at the base whatever yeah so what i can do is that so i can start hanging from me start from me point say question blood this is before you now went to the moon so oh. the process he did before that we didn't know then next time we saw the moon then he hung for some time then came back here now Okay, so let me quickly go over the Gaussian blow one now. I'm saying that normally on the sea, yeah, you will you will not see the background to be really sharp like this. It's always blurry, like a mirage, right? So what I said was after converting this layer to a smart object, right? I added the Gaussian blow filter to it. Then I used the um brush tool at hundred percent hardness. To wipe away the blur from this guy that's why you have this um, black thing over here so after wiping this guy away I have the the background as you know blurry so if you can, if you can look at it this, this is blurry we need to actually apply a little bit more blur so let's see let's do 50% and just Add a little bit more blur so that it's almost gradient like. Okay, so, um, yeah, so now I've imported the moon. The moon is supposed to be the last thing that I do before I um, send you guys your task, and then you can use that as a guide to do whatever it is you feel like doing, right? So, this guy is here. Mm -hmm. The first thing I want to do is do that hue and saturation thing, but I want it to be this pink over here. The reason why I chose the pink is because that's the brightest color in this area, and that's the color I want the moon to have. So that sh I'm sorry that I'm keep, I keep going back and forth like this. A lot of people are trying to join in. All right, so I'll just go and use the hue and saturation thing I mentioned earlier. So hue and saturation superimpose so on the moon colorize and there you have it but i want it to be brighter and i want the pink to be more right another thing i want to do is that i want it to have outer glue so i'm just going to go ahead and pick that pink again um set my blend mode to screen increase the size and the spread Outer glue. Where is it, yo? It's not working. Eh? Oh, sorry, yo. I'm doing outer glue on the kidney instead of. So I'm going to reduce the spread actually. Bring this back down. Then I'm going to also do inner glue. So all those neon signs you usually see. This is how they do it. You have to you add a mixture of inner glue and outer glue, right? So let's do screen. Precious, are you okay? Sorry, eh? Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to increase increase the choke and then the size. So you can begin to see that it is looking like it's actually shining. Let me reduce the um, opacity for this one. So it's there but not too there. There you go. So what I want to do is ah sorry, I want to convert this to a smart object because I'm going to be adding layer mask to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this and just wipe out the edge at zero percent hardness. Just you know wipe out the edge. Oh, I'm still at fifty. Sorry, hundred percent opacity. Wipe out the edge. Flow 100%. Aha. I think I'm liking this. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, so. Okay. Where did I stop? You're still in your uh, inner room. Can you see it now? No. It will? Can someone else see it? It's the same for, is it the same for everyone? Uh, no, not really. It's still on your... Um, um, what is, is that it? called? The blue screen. Yeah. All right, let me stop presenting and re um, present again. This night. All right, let me know when you can see my screen, please. Yes, yes, yes. awesome. Okay, so you said you said I stopped in um, outer glow. Hello. Yes, we can. We can hear you. Awesome. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So what I was saying is this year, yeah? the moon cannot be barren like this because the moon actually reflects light on the sky, right? So we'll just go ahead and add outer glow. Yeah, I already selected the pink over here. I reduced the opacity to seventy-two percent and I set the blend mode to screen. Yeah, and then the size I set to seventy. Right. After adding outer glow, I also added inner glow. That's what we use to create neon signs to show that something is actually reflecting light onto itself and outwardly as well. So the blend mode is also sent to set to screen. Opacity is set to 53. I chose the pink color as well and I set the size to 62. This, the choke is 4. So this is what I've done. No worry, this I, this um, BD video is being recorded but I feel like it's better if you are like active, actively present. Um, present. Hey God, I beg actively present so that you know if you have any questions you can always interrupt me and speak so we say okay to that guy and then we give it a layer <gasps> oh sorry my chest uh, we I, give it... I have a question but the question is far back so i'm trying i'm waiting so that you can when you are finished then i can yeah i'm almost true so something very yeah yeah so i'm not okay, going to go ahead just let me finish up with the moon Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So we can decide to either leave this nigga like this or we can just pinch away the side to show that it's not from this planet. It's outside the world. Right, so we can do it that way. We can do, do it that way. Hey, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is this is basically it. Uh, this portal thing is not necessarily working for me anymore. Well... Like I said, do you, but do you well. So, there you go. I'm going to share this task on the this particular one. This is where it stemmed from. This is the original something I was supposed to do. Before I now carry my head, I'm going to do on that thing. So, I'm going to share this on the group. And then, with what you have learned tonight, you can begin to practice. And, you know, let's see what you guys come up with. So, uh, questionnaire. Uh, hey, Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> well, like, the thing, okay. if I can even if I can process it in my head, that what am I saying? That when it came out of my mouth, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's actually cool. Okay, so um, the question is, you know, you did something with you separated the cup from the background, so yeah. I didn't get the option um, that you used to separate it that quick. I you just go to the um, properties. And then you click on select object. Take for instance now, let's say we are doing this nigger, right? You once you click on that layer and the layer is rasterized, you can see these options remove background or select subject. So once you click on select subject, it's going to the AI is going to automatically pick whatever is not blood, right? Or whatever is not a solid up um, solid um shape and then pick that out for you. So that's how you pick. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? Where is he? Where is he? Where, 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 where is he? Huh? Any other question? If there's none, let us call it a day. Oh. 
Sorry, I didn't start from the beginning. Then. This mountain was it in PNG format or yeah, it's from yeah, PNG? it's in PNG format. But the beauty about all of this is that you can actually select it yourself. It's fun. It's fun for me to select myself actually because mountains are jagged, have jagged edges, so they are not even straight. So you don't even need to worry yourself about anything. You just go ahead and pick, pick anyhow you like. When you are true, you give it clipping mask. And tell the idiots to go and sit down in one corner in the one corner. So so yeah. So let's say this is what I need. Okay, can you show can you show us how that is done? That's what I've just done. So are you know are you seeing my screen? Yeah, I can see now. Awesome. So I just I just basically selected this using the lasso tool. I just selected okay. this using the lasso tool. The polygonal lasso tool. So you just select half hazardly, it doesn't really matter. Right? Because mountains actually have jagged edges. So it doesn't matter. That's how I did that 2022 on. Where's that nigga? That's how I did this guy. These edges. So you just select, 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 and mask it. Okay, so it's after you select, after you, you must have um, been done selecting, that's when you click on the masking um, um, option. Yeah. Uh, okay, sweet. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Does anybody have any other questions? Going, going. Yes, sorry, my wife is our next class, ma'am. Yeah, I've not even finished this one. Yeah, already looking for next class. <laughs> Your next class is on Wednesday because you're supposed to submit. You. You're supposed to sub submit this guy tomorrow. Like, right, practice and submit tomorrow. Then on Wednesday we have our next class, and the higher we go, the more complicated it gets. So in my eye, this is actually really simple because we will get to a point where we will create this guy. Wow. Yeah, wow. You gon' be that's why I think we should take this class seriously. It's free of charge. You will not be doing you will not be tabele bele ka kiri. Eh? Be learning now, be learning now, be using that be collecting your money and be paying tight into my account. That's all. Alright, so it's actually it's actually expensive, so uh, you, you should really take it serious because I was in O2 Academy and oh. I know how much um all of I this. Paid. Mm hmm So Yeah. Very expensive, but almost like 300k or 300k. Yeah, let me send my account number so you pay me like half of that. <laughs> my desk, my, my desk, you know, they just money. My, my agency sends me there, not me. <laughs> they paid the foot the bill, so I just went. All right, awesome. All right, so if there's Thank no other you. question, let us just you know call it tonight. I'm going to send um, the um, what they call it now the task to the group right now 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 so that we can begin practicing right if you do it if you do it right and you really really open your mind by the time you are done you are actually going to come up with more ideas than the one you have been given given um like than the one you've been given right so you might actually do the first idea and another idea will pop into your head and you experiment with that one and then that one will come in just like this one now if you look at the first design the actual task and this one i did they are completely different things so i can do the, the actual task and also do this other one so guys just open your mind don't allow don't allow um don't be constrained to one idea don't be married to one idea just go with the flow and then that's how your creativity comes all right guys thank you oh uh, someone just coming back yeah she, that would um, you say you want, you want to share grace that you now enter inside class anyway Good night, everybody. Bye. So, so you're going to share this recording, right? If I feel like. Yeah. If I feel like. Then please, you are begging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to post it on. I'm not going to see where it is. The way it is, I'm going to post it on YouTube like that. So. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey now, bye. Oh, I should share tons of worry calls, huh? See, the way we block, bro. Please, oh, I'm still managing this more than now. Like, I don't got a lot of worry to pull, pull his hand on it. I bet let this boy. Bye guys, good night. You can go now. Bye 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 bye. Let me go and finish the work I started. Alright, bye ma. Good night. Night. Yeah.